In this video, we're going to take a couple of the lessons that we've learned in previous videos and combine them to make our footer work more smoothly. Right now we have a map here, and then we have a text widget that shows the address and phone number of our city hall. But there's a plugin that provides a widget that completes both of these tasks, plus adds a little bit more. Let's take a look. We're going to be using contact widgets. Contact widgets provides one widget that lets you put in your contact information and optionally display a map, and then another one that allows you to display your social network connections. And they look generally like this, but they're going to look a little different in our theme, so let's take a look. Let's go to Plugins, Add New. And we'll click Install Now and Activate. There we are. Now we can go to Appearance and Widgets. We can look in our footer, and right here's our text widget with our information in it. And we don't want that one anymore, so let's just drag it right out of here. What we do want is this Contact Details widget. And we can title it again, City Hall, just like we did before. We could put in an email address. I'll just put in mine for now. A phone number. A fax, which I'm going to skip because no one faxes anymore. And an address. There. And for now, we're going to leave labels and maps visible, just to see how it looks. That looks pretty good but our map is a little bit low. But I do like the labels. So what I'm going to do is don't display the map. But I'm going to copy the address and make this small and I'm going to remove this Google Maps widget and I'm going to put in another contact details. Put in the address don't display labels, but display the map. Now what that did for us is put the address and map over here on the left. So now we need to take it off of the one on the right. And we'll put the labels back on this new one. I click Save and Save and Reload. We also want to remove the address from this one over here because we don't need that duplicated. And there we are. We have the address and a map. We have the email and phone. But now we want to put in some social network icons here. So we come back over here and here is the social profiles widget that comes with our contact widgets. And I'm going to put that right below the city hall. And the way it works is you simply click the one that you want. And we'll click Save. And there we have Social Networks. Now, if we turn labels on, then they go vertical like this. We can also reorder them simply by dragging and dropping on these little hamburger menus. There, now Twitter's at the top. So now we have a more complete footer. We have our address, email, phone, social networks, and local events. This provides a footer that's full of useful, valuable information. Your footer can be a very important, valuable part of your site because it's on every page. And having this kind of important information on every page is really valuable. 